Mystical Moments, Memorial of Blowing of Trumpets. Welcome to Mystical Moments, where we delve into the spiritual depths of ancient texts and traditions. I'm your host, Coach in the Fight, and today's episode is all about understanding the profound mystical dimensions of the Memorial of the Blowing of Trumpets, or Rosh Hashanah, as described in the Zohar. We'll also touch on its connections with Yom Kippur and Sukkot, exploring how these holy days shape the spiritual calendar. Let's dive in. Divine Judgment and Cosmic Reckoning Our journey begins with the Memorial of the Blowing of Trumpets, a day that the Zohar describes as crucial for divine judgment. This day is not just a time of celebration but also a significant moment when God reviews the actions of the past year and sets the course for the year to come. Scriptural Support For on this day shall atonement be made for you to cleanse you. From all your sins shall ye be cleansed before the Lord. Leviticus 16 verse 30. Although this verse primarily refers to Yom Kippur, it echoes the broader themes of judgment and purification associated with the memorial of the blowing of trumpets. Zohar Reference In the Zohar we find, In this day, the Holy One, blessed be He, sits upon the throne of judgment, and all the creatures of the world are judged before Him. Zohar I, 237a. This passage highlights the gravity of this day in the cosmic calendar. The sounding of the trumpet, awakening the soul. The Zohar places great importance on the sounding of the trumpet, viewing it as a powerful spiritual call. This act is believed to awaken both the divine and human realms, prompting a state of heightened spiritual awareness and repentance. Scriptural support. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, in the first day of the month, shall ye have a Sabbath, a memorial of blowing of trumpets, a holy convocation. Leviticus 23 verse 24. This verse sets the foundation for the trumpet's role in this holy day. Zohar reference. The Zohar explains, The sound of the trumpet stirs the souls, calling them to repentance and causing the divine presence to recall the covenant. Zohar 2 152b. This mystical interpretation reveals how the trumpet's call reaches into the spiritual realms. Creation and renewal, the anniversary of the world. Rosh Hashanah is also associated with the anniversary of the creation of the world. The Zohar connects this day with cosmic renewal, emphasizing its significance beyond mere commemoration. Scriptural support. In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Genesis 1 verse 1. This foundational verse underscores the idea of creation and sets the stage for understanding the memorial of the blowing of trumpets as a time of cosmic renewal. Zohar Reference The Zohar reflects this concept with, On this day, the world is renewed, and divine light is rekindled. Zohar I, 55b. This interpretation connects the festival with a broader theme of divine recreation. Mystical Ascent and the Opening of the Gates According to the Zohar, the memorial of the blowing of trumpets is a time when the gates of heaven are open, allowing prayers and petitions to ascend. This mystical ascent offers a unique opportunity for spiritual elevation and alignment with divine will. Scriptural Support Open ye the gates, that the righteous nation which keepeth the truth may enter in Isaiah 26 verse 2. This verse aligns with the theme of opening gates for prayers, resonating with the Zohar's depiction of the day. Zohar Reference The Zohar elaborates, On this day, the gates of heaven are open, and prayers ascend like flames to the Divine Presence. Zohar 3 1 a This passage emphasizes the day's spiritual significance and receptivity. The Ten Days of Repentance the memorial of the blowing of trumpets initiates the ten days of repentance, a period leading up to Yom Kippur. This time is crucial for introspection and self-examination, as emphasized in the Zohar. Scriptural Support Return, O Israel, unto the Lord thy God, for thou hast fallen by thine iniquity. Hosea 14 verse 1 This call to repentance reflects the essence of the ten days of repentance. Zohar Reference The Zohar notes, these ten days are a time for reflection and repentance, guiding the soul towards purification before Yom Kippur. Zohar 2 134b. This highlights the importance of this period for spiritual preparation. Conclusion 
The memorial of the blowing of trumpets, as described in the Zohar, is a profound spiritual event with significant implications for divine judgment, cosmic renewal, and mystical ascent. Through its exploration of divine assessment, the trumpet's call, creation and renewal, heavenly ascent, and the ten days of repentance, the Zohar reveals the transformative potential of this day and its central role in the spiritual calendar. You can find this story and more at cochinthefight.shop.